We should keep it. Come here. Let me see if I can get those buttons. Come on. You need your hands free. There you go. Take a look over. You have committed crimes against... You're going to...
I just think we need more information before we act. Well, I trust you have... You were at Helgen when... Need a ride? Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you're... Expenses, you know. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that, and you'll forget all. Order up the Jarl. Smart.
I don't know. What the hammer should have come here? I'm not opening this. I told you to go away. I'm not opening this door for anybody. What's that? You Back and forth. Then there really is hope after all. Think pot Th This will just take a moment. Knife. This one always sticks. There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. You... Important. <laughs> there is hope. Drag. No. The dragons are... Oh. Old with the drag. No one can escape. Yes. Yes. You're... The prophecy. We must go. Uh, did you hear that? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it though.
Akaviri blood. It's the prophecy, don't you see? Only a dragonborn can stop all and avert the end. Show how they defeat. Uh, patience, my dear. The Akaviri. Yes, yes. This here, coming from. You mean they used. You ever heard of such a thing? You're probably right. Right. Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. I wouldn't ask for better weather.
Where did you learn of that? They have always... Have you learned nothing from us? But heed my warning. No, it is called... We do not regret this loss. Only Parthenax. He lives in... He speaks to us only... Only those whose voice is strong can find the power. Not. Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? 
<laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We've blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfo, Sori, Birker. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no, not need it. we will deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me, Tarudis, Ani, him hind paliv, zu hindan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. Spirits have mercy on our souls.
Here, there, here. Come, let's go find Faringar. My court wizard. He's been looking into. Faringar. Come to dress. I think I found someone who can help well, you with your. Well, when I. Dragon straight to the. Project. I, uh. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet. Go. No doubt uh, interred in the main chamber. I am. And bring it to me. What? Simplicity you want me itself. To let the... Off to Bleak Falls do. Barrow with I didn't say. Now, what's this nonsense? I want. Oh. Do you think. No. I. Then of course, y'all. I would be glad to help you with your eyes. <laughs> Feared as much. We are not warriors. You misunderstand our. I see. Pardon. Even the great. We will see if they still remember us. Wind. I used to be an adventurer like you. By order of the art, stop right. Smart man. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Do you have some r r Hmm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps. Hmm, why don't you- I s- Besides, I'm sure I'm your being you, imprisoned was all a terrible a misunderstanding. Speak with like The Greybeards. Why, there's nothing. They are again. My job is to quell this rebel- Uh, you may- Yes. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the man. That's not- no lola gagan.
Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some count. They say the big old palace there was built by Yeet. It's no secret. What do you think? You have committed crimes against Skyrim. Smart man. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. I remember you. You are speak with Garmar. It's about time that I have the The Empire has put I can't afford Good. I doubt the Empire. Yes. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us. You're not invited here. I should not have agreed. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Be careful. We'll now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. But it is to think that I would sit. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. 
Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely be out of character. I want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here... Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. 
Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up my heavy price for this truce. The blade justice demands that he an un cross reference by calling the dragon with he's not come. You I think it's very like ah Odaf Yarf Balgruf Wing. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn clan. <laughs> We're ready. As I promised. My men, my men know what to do. Make sure you do. Nope. Among ourselves, once he has his door, been door, so who lost all. Ah, well, only, of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. What's do? You need to improve the other Uth, Zuk Brit of Amativ, Mu Bokotin Stinselok. This 
Long last, Alduin's doom.
Does his strength have no end? 